Okay, so after this point, there's only going to be eight days left for you to get this new uniform for Luna Snow. So what I wanted to do today is give you guys another look at her since we have her up at tier four. I haven't even put any Odin's blessings on her yet. Um, I really don't like how sometimes she runs off in the middle of nowhere with the second skill. Like, hello? The boss is all the way over there. Why are you running off in the middle of nowhere? She hits so hard, it's actually crazy. I wonder if, I wonder who hits harder between her and Miles Morales. Because Miles is actually a monster and they can use the same team up, right? Because Miles has the leadership tag. Makes me want to say that if you're free to play and you were waiting for Luna Snow and because of that you skipped over Miles Morales, maybe you should double back and get Miles. I know he's not a female, but he's really, really good. And you might have a lot of fun with him since Luna Snow has now become a paywall trophy. You could still tier for her and use her with the older uniform. I still have to test that out and see how that rocks. I think she's gonna clap with it same way. Because there's just so much power in this thing, it's actually crazy. We're on stage 64 against Ultron, and we know how difficult this is and how annoying Ultron is as a boss, but because she hits so hard and so frequently, even this clown can't dodge all of her damage. The AoE on her is just crazy. She always had really good AoE, but they gave her even more. Look at this. Like, she's running off to the middle of nowhere, but we're just still hitting. Alright, so I'm gonna not get her clapped okay sitting waves awaken skill keep sitting keep sitting and boom and this is donezo there's one thing i would have wished for is that that the tier 4 lines up a little bit better with the tier 3 but it's fine it's fine she, she's just so busted <laughs> that i can't really ask for much more so unfortunately i don't have that high of a stage to show you guys against Jean gray because i don't really get her that often as my boss of the day and because of that i haven't pushed very hard or very high with it, whichever one against her I'm gonna just dip out of there and just leave all that snow on her. Look at that, bro. Like, it's actually, this is what happens when <laughs> you live in a snow country and then there's a snowstorm and then all that snow just accumulates on your roof. And then you just go out, and you're like, oh, it's a nice, bright, sunny day. And then all that snow just falls off your roof right on top of your head. Um, that's what happens when Luna Snow attacks our enemies, bro. <laughs> okay, the people who don't live in a snow country that don't know what I'm talking about. Just Google snow falling off our roof, and uh, you 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 will understand. Just uh, Google it. Anyways, um, this should be done. Unless he jumps into an eye for it. Yeah, ah, uh, she's so good, man. She's actually so good. Crazy to think that our artifact is virtually useless unless I'm gonna show you guys. So I've actually found one way to make Luna Snow's artifact not completely garbage because she doesn't have much in the way of wall resistance. This uniform gives her a little bit, but if you actually put her on a team with Ancient One, because Ancient One gives you 30% more all resistance, that includes cold resistance. If you put her together with Ancient One, then you're gonna get extra damage from her converting her cold resistance into cold damage there isn't many stages where you use the two of them together but this one right here 29 against kang leadership stage you can use that team i'm gonna show you guys and then we get to listen to luna snow's music a rare treat truthfully speaking if these guys wanted to promote this girl's music as much as possible they would make it so that she had one of the best leaderships in the game you know like give her like a she hulk type leadership it would be crazy it would be too much because she's already so good if she was a self-buffing leadership as well I guess they could make it 60% cold damage because that's niche, right? That would only apply to her and a few other characters. Like, or just cold resistance, like something like that. Yeah. Cause I like having her music. It's a nice change of pace. Okay, this guy, you're doing too much, buddy boy. 
There we go. Nice. So I heard some of you guys are saying you're delay canceling the six, and I just want to ask why. For me, I just spam. Well, not necessarily spam. Like there's a, a method to the madness. But uh, I just instantly can't. Okay, hello. Why? Why is my? I just instantly cancel the six. Bro. I don't know why the four wasn't going off there. It's dangerous to lose Luna, or to use Luna, rather, when you get teleported to the Scarlet Witch thing. It's, or at least for me, because I like to use the two instinctively, so it'll move me and get me killed, so I gotta be careful. Ooh, I miss that uh, constant healing from the old tier three. Because as you can see, sometimes it gets pretty dicey. Okay, didn't do enough damage quick enough. I don't want to get time frozen. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, buddy boy. Okay, there we go. Didn't <laughs> lift a little snow behind Kang. What do you guys think the likelihood of them buffing him is? Because like, I'm willing to bet that they're gonna buff him when they see that no one's actually giving him a positive review. Like literally every single person I've talked to, uh, oh, hold on, I've been talking to has been disappointed with Kang, which is just quite sad. Okay. Really, you're gonna do this? Oh, that was close. Hurry up. This could be faster, but it's okay. Luna just wants to love you guys. Ooh, nice. And nope, not dead. Okay, unfortunate. Now he's dead. Not bad. Not bad. Definitely could be faster, but not bad. Let's see how we fare against Gore. He can be notoriously annoying for moving around in unpredictable patterns, similar to Ultron, but just even more toxic because of all of his moves that ignore iframe. Okay. Nice. I really like that they buffed their movement speed. Because that was one thing that made her really annoying. For me anyways. Yeah. Boom. Come up here, buddy. Alright, buddy. Okay. I'ma just dip out. Oof. This guy followed me. Stalker. I feel like Gore is that kind of guy, bro. He, he just looks creepy. You know what I'm saying? Kind of guy that would peep through a girl's window, go through their underwear drawer and shit, bro. Like, yeah, he give me that weirdo vibes. Anyways, moving on. Moving on. Different subject. Let's see, considering she has so much AoE and. Come on. Sometimes it looks like her AOE is just massive when it covers the entire map and then you have situations like these where it's like there's roaches everywhere and uh, they're just not getting hit. There we go. And that's done. Nice. Nice soup. Makes me want to push a little bit higher against Jean to see how far I can go with Luna Snow and just like be casually clapping cheeks. Let's go. Hurry up. Boom. Just gonna pop these really quickly. And then 
I'm gonna just dip out. Boom, boom, boom. I'm out. <laughs> out like a light. Jeez. Yeah, she's so good, man. Like, I really want to go tier four miles and see who is better. But I don't really have the mats like that. I definitely don't have the books. But I am truly curious if any of you guys have both Miles Morales and tier four Luna Snow, who's better? Cause like, I can't really decide. Um, level 80 Miles just hits like a truck, but Luna was hitting like a truck at level 80 as well. And now that she's at tier four, she's just ridiculous. 